Coach, we'll talk to you. You came in here, you knew it'd be a tough battle. You say Beatrice always plays scrappy and is a difficult one for you, but you came out in straight sets. How do you feel about the performance? You know, I'm pretty happy with it overall. I thought we did a pretty good job in the serve and pass game. Some unforced errors probably where we didn't need to have them, but as a whole, I thought it was a good team effort. You had two players in double-digit kills, Kemp with 11, Scosendi with 10, and Cartwright and Haney as well with eight, respectively. So a lot of firepower, nothing that you're new to or you're not used to specifically, but um, how nice is that to have so many weapons and you don't even have Krause with you right now as well? You know, they all, we do, we have a great setter that gets the ball to all our players really well. And so anytime we're in system, we can run our middles. We like to, but then we have the ability to throw it out. And we trust all of our hitters to take care of the ball as best as possible. And I thought they did a pretty good job of that tonight. Now the player that I mentioned is so Cindy. We're going to talk to her shortly. She's our player of the game, but you said 10 kills is actually an off night for the future Creighton product. So what does she bring night in and night out? What makes her such a special player? Uh, she's one of those glue players. I always tell her, but she's a kid that's on the floor that sometimes, you know, she doesn't have to have flashy stats or do all the work, but she's a kid out there that just keeps everybody on the same page and um, makes a great play when you need to make a great play and her teammates trust her to get the pass when they need to get the pass. And she's just, she's a kid you want on the floor, no matter what situation you're in. Well, coach, thank you for the time. Congrats on the win and good luck moving forward. Thank you very much.